trash. Look at the trash on that one. What's going on, y'all? Right here behind this trash truck right now, just chilling. Your boy been out of town, man. I've been in Kansas. Working this job, trying to put this building together. Came into town for just a few days, man. I just sped down here. Last night, the last minute, trying to come home to the fam. So I'm right here, just getting a quick little ride in while everybody's at work and school. Enjoying this beautiful day. Hope everybody's doing good, man. Your boy right here, just living it up. Shit, man, while I was gone, dude hit me up off of YouTube and was asking about, uh, he's a young youngster. You know, youngster was wondering how to try to get his mom and dad to buy him a bike or, you know, allow him to get a bike. I don't know if he was trying to pay for it himself or not. So I was like, oh, that'd be a good damn question, you know, or a good topic to bring up. So yeah, you're a young kid, you want your mom and dad to allow you to ride a motorcycle. What do you gotta do to let them, you know, be open to that? Well, first off, you're gonna have to show me responsible. Responsible individual will get a lot more things in his life than anybody else. She prove you're responsible and you can prove you can do the task at hand, get things done. People see that man. They see that and they and they know who their go-to person is, who they can rely on. And that's a big thing for you to build up in life. Is, you know, it's not that you have to prove things to people and show them. It's just the fact that, you know, when you are reliable, you're more likely to fucking get the job or get what you want. So why not be that, you know? Number two thing, man, just show them you're willing to do whatever to do it, man, and just prove it, man. Whether you got to work a little extra or you got to do, you know, set a goal and prove it and say, hey, I did this, you know, give me a shot, you know. Show them, you, show them you're really interested in it, man. If it's something that you can bond with your parents about, whatever, it's like, this is what you really enjoy. You can't go off of what everybody else in life is doing, you know. And people die every day on motorcycles. People die every day in fucking cars. A lot more in cars than fucking than in motorcycles. You know, things can all anything can happen in life, man. You know, motorcycle wreck can kill you. It can be on you. It can be on somebody else. Just like any other type of wreck. If you're the type of you know young kid male or female that like you know wants to get into riding motorcycles or you know they want it to be your little thing you know tell your parents how you feel man show them you want to be responsible and you know and do ask them what you can do to prove that you know what can I do to prove it when you get older you want to rebel against your parents because they didn't want to give you what you wanted gotta understand a lot of parents are gonna say no because of the fear of losing their child to a motorcycle accident you know parents have lost their kids to motorcycle accidents parents have lost their kids to car accidents so you have to realize it's your parents love for you that makes them say no it's their fear of losing you fear of you getting hurt they fear for you but you have to get them past that by showing them that you that you're responsible and, and doing what you can to prove that to them 
and I've always found the best way is like, hey, just ask them, well, give me some goals to reach, you know, what can I do? Do this, 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 and this, and you can do it, and then just do this, 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 and this, and stick to it. Don't falter one bit, because they'll use any kind of fucking, they'll use any kind of fucking anything against you to say no. So, you know, just be 100, just be 100 with them. Do what you gotta do, man. And I hope y'all boys can get on the road, man. Just always remember, man, don't rebel against your parents because it's shit. You know. Accept it for what it is, man. Be a time and time in life where you'll be able to do whatever the hell you want and they ain't gonna be able to say nothing about it and you say now nah, you know I just think it like this like man you know if any time passes and then you're like hey you bought your own bike when they said no and now you're riding and I say well you know if we could have had this when I was younger you know we could have had a lot more it was just all I wanted man I just wanted to be able to ride I just wanted to ride, I wanted to enjoy, you know, it's a, it's a whole, it's a great feeling to be riding, man, to be in control of everything. It's just, I mean, it's a lovely feeling of freedom, man, you have on motorcycles. And, you know, it's just like anything else, you can't take it for granted. But yeah, man, build a bond with them, you know, talk to them about how much you like it and show them, you know, man, you could possibly get your mom or dad to become a rider too at the same time. I mean, you absolutely never know what the hell could happen. Yeah, that's the same thing I think, man. Just, I want to be responsible. I want to be a responsible adult. I want to learn responsibility. What can I do to start proving and learning it? Learning it and prove it to y'all more and more. Put more weight on your shoulders. You know, as kids, you already have school and shit, so it's already a little bit there, but... Like my daughters, they want to ride. You know, all in. I'm all for it. I mean, I'm just waiting for them to become one of them, become the right age, to where I can get her riding a little, whatever the 250 or under. And I already have a Grom right there, at the house, ready for her to be able to whip around and let her learn on the Grom. And bam, from there, let her get something bigger. 600 is all you need, man. I'm telling you, them boys. Y'all down play this fucking. Yeah, I'll play them 600s, man. This bitch will get it. Oh, somebody in front of me smoking them tweeds. Or is that a skunk? Or is that a skunk smoking them tweeds? But yeah, man, just show me you're responsible, kids. That's all I got for that little one, man. Y'all boys be good out there. Have a good day. Stay out of trouble, man. I'm going to get back with y'all soon. Well, I put out as much content as I can when I can, man. But right now, like I said, I'm up in Kansas City working. And it's kind of hard to get things done when you ain't got no motorcycle. Alright, man. Much love to y'all, man. Peace. Be easy.